In this video, we're going to look at the proof that root 2 is irrational by contradiction. So a couple of things before we start. Any number, I'll use the hashtag symbol, any number times 2 is even. So imagine an odd number times 2, 3 by 2 is 6 is even because it's a factor of 2. And an even number by 2 is 8, again a factor of 2. And any even number squared is also even. Just check a few of these. 2 squared, 4. 4 squared, 16, and so on. 3 squared is 9, it's odd. So an even number squared is even, and any number by 2 is even. They're the two kind of components that we need to use to, let's assume, root 2 is rational. So we're going to contradict this. This is the proof by contradiction. So root 2 is equal to a over b. So if we square both sides, we're going to get 2 is equal to a squared over b squared. And cross multiplying, we get 2b squared is equal to a squared. And if 2b squared is equal to a squared, 2b squared, because 2 is a factor, this must be even. Therefore, a squared is even. And as we've seen from here and here, any even number squared is even. Therefore, a is an even number. So a is even. So if a is even, a can be written as 2 times any other number. Let's call it 2 times p. So now what we have is 2b squared would be equal to a squared, which is now 2p to b squared. So 2b squared will be equal to 4 times this number squared, 4p squared. And if we divide by 2, we can say that b squared would be equal to 2p squared. And similar to this line here, 2p squared has to be even. Therefore, b squared is even. Therefore, b is even. So we keep keep repeating this process. So maybe write this down so we could repeat this process. We could repeat this process and simplify this a over b again and get a simpler fraction. So a over b as a rational number wouldn't be able to be simplified any further, the original a over b. But we've just shown that a is even and b is even. And if both a and b are even, even if they're 2 over 2, we would be able to simplify it. So therefore, we have contradicted ourselves. Therefore, we have a contradiction. So therefore, we say root 2 is not rational as we assumed. So therefore, root 2 is irrational. So this is your proof. A contradiction 2023 20, leave insert it's coming up get practicing